Hi, Elliot and Hilary. Congratulations on this film, Close to You. Perhaps I could start with you, Hilary, asking you um, what the film Close to You is all about. What can fans expect when they watch this? Uh, this film is about um, Sam, a young trans man, Johnny, um, going back home and in a sense going to a deeper place within his own self-acceptance and self-love. And it's kind of a moment in time for him where he um, goes home to his family and also happens to run into an old friend or love from quite a while ago, which I think also brings up the themes of home and where do we feel most at home or seen. Um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> And Elliot, for you, um, can you tell us a little bit about developing that story uh, with Dominic Savage coming on board? Because I think your last film was like 2017. So what was it that made you come on board and want to make this particular film? And where did you take the inspiration from? Yeah, well, really, it's a, it was about Dominic and, <laughs> and Dominic's work. Um, the first thing I saw was the Samantha Morton episode of I Am. And I couldn't get over it. I was so moved. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I like felt it. And that's a testament obviously to the filmmaking and her performance. She's obviously next level astounding. Um, and, and what they created. So, and then when I met Dominic, he's just like the sweetest, most sensitive soul who just wants to make something that's true and touches people. Um, so I just felt I mean, just beyond grateful that he wanted to do something together. And the beginning idea was very like, you know, Sam's going home for his father's birthday and on the train back, he sees an old friend from high school. You know, we really, and when Dominic, you know, basically writes out an outline, like it's incredibly sparse, you wouldn't know it was like the movie you end up seeing, you know, that's all very much revealed on the day. Um, so yeah, it was that, yeah. And I know you guys have previously worked together on a film called The East. So having kind of touched base before must make it a little bit easier to work together considering the film is completely unscripted. So what were some of the challenges of that? How on earth did you kind of prepare and rehearse for that? And did you find a natural chemistry together to kind of bring that to screen? Um, I think that um, anytime uh, you're acting, you bring um, your personal experiences. And, um, and then for us, one of those personal experiences is that we know each other and we're, we're close friends and so yes that natural connection was there and um and then we were able to play with that and find these new moments and these within the story and letting our connection be be part of the beauty that unfolded between sam and Catherine. and Elliot, anyway, for you, your kind of journey has, has a, I presume, I guess, a little bit of personal reflection for you yourself. Um, but there's these moments of like the family's ignorance and the moment, you know, your mum in this, you know, gets a pronoun wrong and things like that. Um, so did it feel like a really authentic narrative to play this? And what did you like about taking this on? Mm. It did feel, it did feel authentic. I feel like um, I hope she doesn't mind me saying this. Well, Wendy, uh, uh, I think even that moment, that specific moment in the kitchen, like, was an accident, you know? And I don't care. You know, my mom's still misgendered. Like, you, if someone is doesn't have a bad intention, you know, it's, you just, you know, oh, sorry, quick, move on. You know, it's not a big deal. Um, but those moments were so special because they were really real, you know? And, and, uh, I think in terms of this sort of family dynamic, it's not maybe quite what we're used to seeing because they accept they accept his transness, you know, sort of. But they're not they're not really seeing him. They're not mm, yeah. They're not quite doing their best yet, you know. And so we see him having these various interactions that I think um, a lot of 
you know, queer and trans people will definitely relate to. And Hilary, if you play Sam's friend from school, what did you like about your character? What made you kind of want to climb on board with this story? Well, just like Alia, I, um, I mean, first of all, I was so excited to do something with Alia and so grateful and truly honored to get to be part of the first film of you being yourself. So that was just a huge honor. So of course, I'm um, just so excited to do that. And um, I also, as a deaf woman and deaf actor, I felt really excited about the fact that um, I would be playing a woman who is part of some journey and where there's a real love and where my deafness wasn't really that. I mean, it's, it's, it's a part of Catherine, just like it's a part of me. And it, it affects the connection between Catherine and Sam. They're both um, living in bodies that are on the outside and are having a different experience and feeling um, other in a way. And, um, and so, of course, I felt excited to be a deaf woman, especially in a story where I was just the woman, a, a woman um, in her story and part of his past and now his present. And that um, it doesn't matter. It's just it's just about the love and the connection. And you know, obviously, you've got Catherine Lutz as the cinematographer in this. So there's some amazing, like, long shots, some intimate close-ups. Um, you know, and this you know particular scene where you're shirtless as well, which is you know, it's, it's really brave. And there's no turning back for you in the story as well at that point. So, but working together, there's some beautiful beach scenes, things like that. What was probably for both of you? Um, the most special scene you had sort of working on this, whether it was together or separately, that sort of stood out for you? Gosh, good question. <laughs> um, I'd say, you know, the moments that really stood out and that all that I won't forget are the moments that felt so, so deeply true, like where I, where Sam, and Elliot just sort of like broke, you know, and there's near the end of the film when we're lying in bed, Hillary is like a very specific, very simple line that she says, or said, not a line, you're improvising, just, you know, I'm proud of you and see how far you've come and everything. And, you know, the family tried to do that, but they don't quite get it. And Hillary, I don't know, her delivery of that line just like, just, crushed me and so I'd say you know it's these these small little moments that were um just so so powerful where you feel so deeply present and uh you know that's a testament to Hil Hillary and, and and Dominic and um and the entire crew like you said Catherine Lutz can you imagine handheld 53 minute take 25 minute take, 15 minute take. I was just like, I don't even, I don't know, how is she doing that? Well, the boom operator, the the focus puller. I mean, it's it's like a dance when you're making this and the crew is, you know, I mean, the crew is always, you know, deep part of the film, but this was especially so. They, they were incredible. And for you? Um, I would say, I mean, I do want to agree that that scene um, in bed towards the end of the film had a really um, beautiful quality in that most of the time in our story there's this um, there's this there's this tension and like we can't quite be free or we can't be totally honest with each other we're holding back Catherine certainly is so much um, and not saying so much and it was like Finally, oh, I can just relax and just say what I want to say. And so, yes, that was such a beautiful scene. And um, I love that one. And I'll also say that um, I do remember and feel like it was so beautiful, the beach, the beach scene. Mm -hmm. And it was so beautiful with the snow and the pink sky and the birds in the ocean. And we were walking and freezing, <laughs> but <laughs> finding, you know, finding lots of places to laugh and have fun and find all the layers and ups and downs of our connection 
So I really loved that scene as well, and it was very memorable to shoot, you know, in this intense way. Um, um, so yeah, Aww. that's my. Thank you guys so much for speaking to me today. Thank you. And good luck this evening at the London's LGBTQIA Film Festival here in London. And Thank you. Good luck, Phil. Thank you so much for your time. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you.